I couldn't film a video last week because I was getting renovations done to my house by the same person that helps me film my content. I couldn't impose on him to do both, so I chose home improvement. Thank you very much. Along with the threat of Hurricane Dorian, Dorian beat up on the Bahamas like they owed him money. I'm pretty sure you all would understand taking that week off. However, the hiatus allowed me to get a few more t-shirts the bug guy to spray my house again, and to finally receive my birth certificate in the mail so I can get a photo ID. I'm so old, in the race box, my parents are listed as Negroes. I'm dead serious, too. I also upgraded from my Obama phone to a Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Yeah, nigga! When this video is released, it will have been three weeks since I've quit smoking cigarettes regularly. One day at a time, one day at a damn time. I don't have some cool intro, so let's just get to the start of the show. I never tried to get involved in social media in the past because in my heavy depression, and fear of being seen crippled, I assumed that everybody else was living a fantastic life with no problems, and it was just me who doesn't deserve happiness. Like I'm the only one on earth with a dark cloud hovering over my head, just raining on me and only me all the time. Damn, I'm so selfish and self-centered. But during this process of pulling my head out of my ass and trust, it's been a very slow process. I remembered an ideal that I try to live by, which is not to judge a book by its cover. At the beginning of this summer, I decided to th start checking out the social media landscape to see what all the buzz is about. YouTube is like TV for me. I only watch regular TV for sports only now. When I upload my videos, I use Facebook to promote them and recently I signed up for Twitter to promote them there as well. I tried to sign up for Instagram the other day, but I had password issues, so I still don't really know how that works yet. I love how I can watch any music video anytime and as many times as I want. I love watching Joe Rogan's podcast because he's like Oprah for men. I love DJ Vlad interviews because I enjoy hearing about what's happening in these streets, both past and present. I'm old, so I need help keeping up with these new rappers. Cause I swear, it feels like 500 new rappers come out every year. I ain't hating, I'm just saying. So at first my go-to was Snoop Dogg's GGN Network, Finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Hoes. But he doesn't seem to do that anymore. Luckily for me, Dead End Hip Hop reviews always seem to review quality new rappers and give honest critique discussions on popular rappers we all know, like Drake and them. You see by the wrestling t-shirts and the damn name that I'm a lifelong pro wrestling fan. I don't watch WWE TV anymore because their programming is just too long and boring now. They'll post highlights of the show and I'll catch those clips on WWE's channel just to keep up with current storylines. Now I just like watching YouTube channels talk about wrestling like Walt Culture Wrestling and Cultaholic just to name a couple. YouTube is mostly helpful with the vast tutorial and review videos on nearly anything you want to look up. I don't know something, no fear, YouTube fix everything. Through this process of trying to escape my depression, inspirational videos and TED Talks have been very helpful. More and more people seem to be sharing their feelings of what they've been through, and I find myself drawn to their testimonies. And of course I gotta shout out all the gaming YouTubers out there, most notably Chris Move and Man Man Reinhardt of NBA 2K fame and Xerxes for Madden Ultimate Team. I love World Star fights. These kids can record the beatdowns they put on each other, a luxury my generation did not have. I love when the camera work is done by a chick, because her commentary just be in the background like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Get off of him! Get off of him! 
I remember losers in fights, myself included, would have selective memory on how the fight goes down. But I already know someone is in the room like, nah, man, he beat you like you stole something. Pull up the video. Then I would imagine everyone would huddle around a device like a basketball team watching film on their next opponent, using slow motion and zooming in on this ass whooping that will eternally live on the internet. YouTube even has softcore porn. Oops, I mean bikini and underwear try-on hauls. I can't watch them with the sound on because the techno music would just be too loud and obnoxious for me to bear. I would try to watch other videos by these chicks where they're actually talking about trials and tribulations from their lives, but since I've already seen them half naked, I can honestly say I don't care about what they have to say, selfishly thinking to myself, will you just take off your clothes already? God! I only have minor gripes with YouTube, like guy, it's always a guy, who start their gaming videos with What's up? It's your boy. How are we boys? I don't even know you. And a lot of times you can't even see them. If, you, if your work is good, I'll rock with you. But if you're spending two thirds of a 10 minute long video begging me to subscribe to you and give me some half ass information on what I clicked on you for in the first place, I'm out. Facebook's cool, I guess. I have over 200 friends, but I might know 30 of them. On the main page, there's a box that say friends you might know. I haven't even made a connection with the mutual friend that puts the new person in the box, and I'm clicking on that person, repeating the cycle. And by person, I mean chick. Amanda, click. Latoya, click. David, uh, I'm good. Jessica, click. Which I realize makes my timeline consist of posts from three types of women. Women happy to be in relationships, women scorned from getting out of bad relationships, and women were pissed off that they're not in relationships. The happy ones are happy and they want you to know it. All their posts have their name saying they're with so and so. And the picture is always them looking super happy, and the caption is some quote pertaining to their happiness. I would look at that and honestly think to myself, she looks genuinely happy. Good for her. If, but most likely when, that relationship falls apart, I'd imagine it could go one of two ways. If it's her fault, you just won't see her post anything for a while because if she shows replacement due too early, she'll be deemed a slut. But if it's his fault, I assume she immediately becomes one of the women scorned from getting out of bad relationships. These chicks don't have any pictures post posted on their timeline. Just angry nine paragraph texts about this guy doing them dirty. I'm assuming these posts are the bat symbol in the sky for guys within her proximity to come on over and give her some rebound loving. In between her description of how much of a piece of shit her ex-boyfriend is, she usually reminds us all that she is a strong woman and will persevere through this unfortunate situation. I hope she's right, but if she's not and she can't replace dude fast enough, I'd imagine over time she'll become one of the women who are pissed off that they're not in relationships. They seem like resentment and time has beaten the brakes off of them. Those super happy photos of this chick with makeup were taken next to a door, which implies to me that you were going out. Now the makeup photo seems to always be in the bathroom, which implies to me that without a man, you have a lot of time to experiment with different makeup kits singing along to Keisha Cole songs alone. If not the bathroom makeup pic, they usually post sayings on their timeline about how dudes can't handle them, dudes ain't shit, or observations on their memories of sex from the past.
The guys I have on my list just post sayings a lot. I'll give the thumbs up if I think it's cool and keep it moving if I think it's whack. Marketplace is cool because it's another option besides Craigslist for you use furniture. Twitter seems like a promo place to me. I follow 50 Cent and he's promoting the hell out of power on there. I kind of understand hashtags a little more from Twitter and that's a plus. And that's all I have to say about Twitter. And that's what I've gathered from social media. But then again, what do I know? I'm just on the outside looking in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I ain't too proud to beg for your money. So like, share, and subscribe.